What aspects of uh, President Obama's health care bill do you think will be most detrimental to patients? Well, I think the whole thing in many cases will be so because of the constant intrusion of third-party providers, i.e. the government, in the physician-patient relationships. The one area that's causing the greatest short-term problem is to try to figure out what you do with these medical loss ratios with respect to private plans because what happened is the Democrats in Congress with some Republican acquiescence said, we know that the reason why things are too expensive is that, by God, there's too much waste in the system. Competition doesn't control cost. So they mandate price controls, and it's going to be just like rent control. The only way you can meet the price control requirements are, in effect, to reduce the quality of the services. What's the outlook for the legal challenge to Obamacare? Well, it's actually better than one had thought, and there are two kinds of challenges that could be made. Uh, one of those is facial challenge on the medical mandate, and when the case was brought in... And the that's the coverage mandate that everybody has yes, to enroll. Yes, you have $2,000 yeah. if you don't right. get these plans. Randy Barnett, for example, who helped organize this, did a very clever job of advocacy for two reasons. One is he dreamed up an argument which didn't threaten Social Security and Medicare with constitutional extinction. And secondly, he gave a relatively clear line, so now it's the government who has to face the slippery slope problem. If you could force us to buy $2,000 because there's a coordination problem and a free rider problem, why can't you force us to brush our teeth three times a day, to have certain kinds of balanced diets, do exercise? And it turns out you get yourself a totalitarian state. So it was a peculiar mixture of libertarian sentiments with jurisdictional issues. It was very well done. What do you think the odds are of the legal challenge working to invalidate Obamacare? 20 percent, I would say, 25 but this is up from 5 to 10 percent. What I do think is that as the politics become more controversial and the unpopularity of the plan becomes more evident, the willingness of judges to entertain novel arguments will increase and therefore the odds will start to move up.